me that. No, no I, I need that. Phone here for I need that. Give me that. Anyway, no, I actually need next? that. I was doing something. You are. I'm next. Okay. Give me my phone. Awesome. I have a list of the stories that I had to talk about. Give me <laughs> we did Kevin <laughs> and consult. Okay. Yeah. Speaking of old properties that have value, who here has read The Portrait of Dorian Gray? I oh, yeah. have. Nope. I saw. I was forced to in memory. school. I fucking love it. It is Oscar Wilde's only novel. It is the story of somebody who is so just bewitched by this young, beautiful hedonist ways that he painted a portrait of him. And the portrait was of Dorian Gray. And the whole thing with it is that the portrait doesn't age, or the portrait ages in lieu of the human aging. It is one of the earliest by representations I've ever seen. And it's kind of a dope read, in my opinion. They, in 2009, made a movie of it. It was bad. Don't watch that movie. And now they're making a TV series out of it. How? I think that'll work a little better. Maybe. It could. It could. And I really desperately want to hear why you think that could work. I... After, yeah. I say that, like, please don't make it about selfies. You're studying Dorian Gray in the modern age, and the one-to-one -one of how you look with Facetune in selfies is just not interesting. We've seen all the future dystopian whatever of, like, oh, we're going to go totally to social media and blah, blah, blah. And I'm terrified that you're 2024. 20, <laughs> Representation of Hot Dorian tick. Gray is going to be like, oh, but like Facetune makes you look better to people, even if you can't accept it and have sex, right? I'm so nervous about it. It's one of my favorite classics, and I like kind of weird classics. It's yeah. also one of the rare gothic novels that we have. Interview with the Vampire apparently is really good. Yeah. It's also arguably a gothic novel. Yeah. We don't have a lot of these. We have we have experienced a couple of, in my opinion, very good adapta modern adaptations of these old works. I, I know a lot of people don't like him. I like Stephen Moffat's interpretation of Dracula and of Jekyll and Hyde and of Sherlock. And we liked Follow the House of Usher, Mike Flanagan's. And I like again. all those too. Yeah, gothic. <sighs> just don't trust this. I don't trust it. He was the really good is, in Lee of Extraordinary Gentlemen. That's what I'm worried about. Okay. <laughs> so, like, that's what I'm worried I about. I just have to sit like, on this I one. don't hate watch things, generally speaking. If I don't like it, yeah, I'm I don't not going to watch it. I don't waste, it. I don't waste my no. time screaming into the abyss about things. Maybe if I King. like things, even if it's the live-action Avatar, I do like them. Yeah. Even if they're hard to defend sometimes. Yeah. If this was just a garbage TV show that came out, but I want it to be good, I want them to do a thing, I want it to be interesting, I want it to be modernized in that it applies somehow, and I'm so nervous they're going to take their first exit towards Facetune and selfies. You said you feel some hope. Yeah, I feel some hope. Oh, where's the... There's the... I need hope. Yeah, it, I have some hope, and I, I think that just comes from, like, I've seen things like American Gods, which is a really good novel, and they were able to keep the same spirit alive that without modernizing literally everything about it. But it also was set in a more it's modern a time. It's a example. Like, uh, yeah. But I feel like whoever is in charge of the project, they could oh. still do a beautiful portrait to be the aging thing, because it... They do still have to remember what the title is. Yeah. Is the portrait. Portrait. And I will give you and that, that, that like only rich people get portraits painted. And yeah. there's a sense of entitlement about the whole thing. He always had an attic. He always had a safe place that no one would disturb. So a little bit, it's about classism, right? Yeah. That That the, is helpful. The writer... Makes me nervous. Who's the writer That's of the show? Yeah, I was like Oscar Wilde's a fantastic <laughs> writer. Yeah, uh, it's one of the writers of Supergirl. 
But what season? The first season of season, Supergirl yeah, first was season, super yeah. solid. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't know for sure. Okay. They brought Callista Flockhart out of the woodwork oh. to be a mean True. boss in a way that she never been in like yeah. she was good. Yeah. I think I genuinely do think in this case the first trailer's gonna tell us everything because if they get the vibes right, then we're good. Then we're probably okay. I love like I'm a gothic heart. Yeah. I love gothic architecture. One yeah. of my dream trips is the Cologne Cathedral. I love wow, Edgar there. Allan Poe. I love Never Bet the Devil Your Head, Picture of Dorian Gray. I love uh, The Tempest by Shakespeare. Like, I love the these old, weird stories. Yep. And I really want it to be good. It makes me nervous. I will say the only thing I do remember about Portrait of Dorian Gray is it's towards the beginning of the book, and it's the, the room with all the flowers. Because they spent... Four pages describing the flowers. American Psycho level detailing of yeah. like and the flowers. F- that was fine with me. I was enjoying it because I wanted to be in this room. <laughs> this might have the effect um, that Dune had on me because Dune the movie was flawed in a lot of ways, but it made me want to read the novel. So I, I wonder if I'm going to watch the movie or the TV show and be like, this is missing stuff. It's an afternoon read. Oh, it so is I probably not yeah, long. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty quick. I, I've like, read Jekyll and Hyde in an afternoon. Do you want to read Interview with the Vampire now? I don't no. know the answer to <laughs> it's that. A mil- it's a long... Isn't it crazy it's long? long? No, it's, it's like not that 400 long. of the oh, short. I can do like, that. Yeah, it's friend. not but I, That's a longer conversation. Yeah, that's a different about conversation. About race and class and adaptation. I don't know if the picture of Dorian... Or the portrait of Dorian Gray can be translated because part of the whole point is that you can't see it that yeah. the person isn't real and that's what i love about oscar Wilde. he plays with that he um, uses the medium of the book to explain this fantastical world that version of unreliable narrator is super hard to pull off in film I, but he's also can and buy love to see me can and buy <laughs> represent what do you think, Jason? You've been very good. Uh, I actually, I, besides the whole thing with Dorian Gray and Leave Extraordinary Gentleman, I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I see an episode. You with never a, watched the movie with Colin Firth and Ben I just Bart. see an episode where the painting gets taken, <laughs> and he has to do something to get the painting yeah, back. Yeah, which yeah. I'm like, there it is, Leave Extraordinary Gentleman. Yeah, they, <laughs> did they superheroify? Pretty much, yeah. Oh, okay. pretty much. When yeah. I first, I, I I have zero feelings about this show. The like, first time I read it, I was so young that I did not understand that the painter was in love with Dorian Gray. <laughs> He's okay, well, it's right. getting it's far okay. too deep. Okay. Okay. And we still yeah. have to yeah. 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 longer, longer conversation. Right. This is first 10 pages. For yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. There's certainly a lot of love yeah. for this property, and I, I hope it works I out. I have for strong you. feelings. I really Dorian hope it works Gray. out. Because I have one that I'm, I'm going to get to. I have strong feelings. Let's talk about visual weight. Let's Every <laughs> single kid in the early 2000s, like 90s, early, like to the 2000s, early 2000s, that had to read this book for class are going to watch this out of spite. Because they had to read it and analyze it so oh, deeply that they hated it. Yeah. I read it not out of spite. I was a nerd. I mean, nerd. I... That's different, I though. voluntarily yeah, yeah. read Dante's Inferno in high school. Like, I was a weirdo. <laughs> As opposed to now when I'm normal. Yep, so normal. How many Dune books and... So- nope, five and, and a half! 